It looks like we are going live, and I'm live. Awesome, awesome. Well, hello guys. Welcome back to another live stream. It's um, it's been a, a little bit of uh, of uh, uh, hiatus, I guess, to do some other projects and to keep busy and um, and learn as I go. So uh, these live streams, um, if you aren't familiar or new to this, is uh, something that I like to do for fun. It's nothing where you know I'm. I'm not really trying to achieve anything, only just to challenge myself. Um, in, in the process, I've learned to meet, um, I've come to meet a lot of cool people. Lazy Pixel is a, a composer that has been on YouTube for a while, and I've uh, come to talk to him a few times and thought it would be really fun to collaborate with him on a piece. And so... Today is a uh, challenge for me to see what I can come up with in the next two hours. Um, it's going to be interesting to to see where it leads and then where it um, passes over once I pass the torch over to Sebastian or Lazy Pixel. So, what we'll do today is, um, as you'll see, I have a blank canvas. I am going to try to write something that's uplifting. Um, there are some parameters that. Um, Lazy Pixel um, uh, gave me, and so I'll, I'll I'll try to adhere to that. One was to um, try to stick with a uh, tempo of 102 or 104 beats per minute. Um, so um, we'll we'll kind of keep it around there, and then also I want to keep it in G major. Um, we'll start with the intro. We'll build on that, and then um, he mentioned something about how he'll. Uh, do a more gloomy section um, like in the middle. So that'll be interesting. Uh, with that being said, let's get started. I think I'm going to just start sketching right away with uh, piano and then go from there. I don't really have too much planned. I, I kind of had some chord progressions in mind, um, but I'll, I'll play around. We'll expand on that. <laughs> yeah, the tempo was random, the key was random. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see where this goes today. Let's just make sure uh, my sounds work. So let's see. Uh... Okay, looks like we're working there. All right, I had some technical difficulties leading right up to the last minute of this as uh, as uh, that hasn't been new. Um, doing these videos live but um, I'm just glad everything works so all right that's pretty good actually bring that octave down actually. It's kind of like a, a hymnal is what I was thinking. But anyways, that's one idea. Another idea I had was something like just a chord progression. Something like that. Um, and yeah, so those were the two ideas and, and it's just in my head I, I didn't even write it out yet uh, usually I, I have some time to do that but with the technical difficulties uh, didn't really get the time to do that so we'll do that together all right hey Kerwin nice to see you all right cool so um, I think it'd be cool to sketch that out um, on piano and then 
orchestrate that a little bit. So I'll, I'll just be using some basic uh, string brass, like ensemble patches, uh, so I can move faster. Maybe some, uh, like a woodwind ensemble patch as well. Um, I, I generally use this one. This is uh, Hollywood string, or excuse me, Hollywood winds. And um, so I have those three along with piano. I think I'm set for now. I feel like this piano could go a little louder, so let's bring that up. Okay. Maybe I should save the this chord progression, so... Maybe I should save that for like the start of, of, the, P, uh, of the main section, and then I'll do a little intro, like a slower intro in the beginning. So let's 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 work on the intro first. Um, let's make sure I'm on the right tempo. So let's do 104. How about that? Kind of keep it around that, and let's let's hear how that sounds. Let's do G, mi uh, G major, B minor, C, and then E minor, C, so B, uh, E minor, D, C, and then right, let's do that as a little intro. Um, I think I'll remember that. If I should go E minor D A minor or E minor D C, let's do C. Oh, I, wrong chord. It was uh oh yeah B minor. My bad. I kind of had like a little goof up there, so let's go back and change that up. Okay, so let's go to that second half. One, two, three, four, one, two. Hey, thanks, Lazy Pixel. Hi, Hussam.
maybe I'll change the ending, but um. Let's bring that down. Okay. So this this uh, last part, that's an idea, but maybe I can uh, ornament that a little more. limiter kicking in so let's actually bring this limiter down um, since this isn't like mastered and be with the live streaming I want to make sure that you guys can hear and all that so I, I boosted it but um, it does weird things sometimes if I go too loud so I'll, I'll just bring that down a little bit and see if that helps okay let, let's let's change that out and see if I can make that in a little bit better. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's see where I'm at. I'll change, I mean, I could change the chord to a 2 and do 2 5 1. Or I can go 4 5 1. I, I like the 4 5 1 actually. Okay, so I have to go. Yeah, I hope you can hear or see what I'm hearing um, in that regard. Let's see. Two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, and then. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Okay. Three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two. Wrong notes. Sorry. practices. Oh, okay. Here, let me do this. Sorry, the limiter's uh, throwing me off, and I know exactly why um, I'm not playing as I should. Okay, so I, I boosted my uh, piano volume up, but it's just I just need to bring my headphone volume up, and so that sounds better. Okay, all right. 
Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, okay, so that's the idea. I think everything is like a little too loud now. Sorry if you guys are hearing it and it's like just booming in your ears. Three, four, one. Let's do that. Um, make sure the timing is good. Okay, I did a quantize, oops, on this end. So let's just make sure that I didn't go too crazy there. I think what's better if I do eighth notes instead. Yep. So there. Just fix that. Um, I hate when this happens. I have to go in, do all this funky stuff. Um, let's do this troop. Okay. This one too. Let's hear that. Try again. <laughs> yeah, let's just, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back, undo those. I, I like it when it uh, pulls a little bit, but I just thought maybe the quantize would help. Let's see if I. So that's the idea for the sketch on this. And then let's hear how we can add some strings in the background. Uh-oh, my, my uh, pad tablet's acting weird. So let me just restart that real quick. Okay. Let's double check on my settings here. Okay, I think um, I might change the the mix position on this and do classic on this one instead. Turn on the reverb. Hey Jill, good to see you. Hey Tom. Florent, nice to see you guys. Jim, uh, John asked a question. Josh, do you ever notate a composition then import it into the DAW as a MIDI file for post-processing? Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I, I, I don't generally do that, but I've seen it before, and um, it, it's nice. Um, there, there's some advantages to that. You don't have to really uh, get all... Um, fussy with the notes and uh, like what I'm doing with you know what you just saw with the grid so yeah I I generally just like to perform it if I can it, I just feel like I have more control over things that way although I, I, I am pretty proficient with the notation software as well so there we go okay so Let's hear how this would sound.
Okay. Um, not so uh, in love with my string sample for for this particular range on the Jaeger. Um, I'm not sure what it is about it. It just it sounds a little crass. I'm I'm kind of curious how um, the Vista would sound. I know I know lazy um, lazy pixel. He talked about you know sharing ensembles for congruency and stuff. So um, I'll I'll see what I can do. I just want to. I'm just curious about how this would sound. It's really high just in general. So they're actually really similar, aren't they? Okay. This one has less vibrato. That's okay. Um, I wonder how that would sound. I'll mess with the faders later. Oops. Okay, let's fix that. Good. And then um, E minor. Okay, so E minor, D, C. Just go. And then maybe add cellos. Yeah, so. Let's go two bars before that. Three, four, one, two. Yeah, Florin, it, it's uh, Jaeger. Yep, uh, uh, and Jill, you're the one that asked the question. It is um, Jaeger Ensemble Full Strings. Let's see here. Okay, so let, let's do some programming here. Um, let me just double check my recording is in the right spot. Replace mode, okay. So I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but um, I really like this in, inside of Cubase at least. Um, you can actually record over your automation. So for instance, if I did that, but I wanna 
and do another pass. I don't have to delete it. I can just record um, if I put in the right settings. So let, let's see how this sounds. Cool, cool, cool. Um, there are some notes that need to be cut off, like about here on the phrases. So let's just do that. Let's hear it one more time. So, um, boom. maybe I just need to go out or down more. Whoop, like that. Yeah, this for uh, right here. Maybe it, it's a little too weak, and then bring that down. And this one's behind. Or the piano is probably ahead. It's a little bit ahead, but I mean, I'll just bring the strings in front as well. So. Oops, wrong spot. It's right here. And the strings come in early on this one. Nope. Let's try again. Okay, never mind. It's it's the other way. So then I feel like maybe that's overpowering that piano. Sustain pedal? No. Okay. All right. So, um, what else? I, I feel like there could be some synths in this. Um, it'd be nice to add some synths. Um, woodwinds would be nice. Anything else? Um, what am I hearing? Or I wanted to add up to that. Na, na, na. Um, I think. For the most part, that's where I'm heading. Okay, so what would be good? Let's add some synths. What if I added just like a nice pad over all of that? So let's do something like analog strings from output. Um, not Dark Lord. <laughs> um, let's hear how Dark Lord sounds. Yeah, so let's open that up and change it. Okay, so synth pad, um, anything else? Swells, simple, clean. Let's let's just hear what this has. Let's try harmonics. I'll do with harmonics. Even just like one note. Mm, 
I'm a little too um, front attack heavy. Mm, let's get rid of synth. Orchestral. Let's see how that sounds with... That's kind of cool. Ambivalence. It needs to have a lot of character behind it. I think it would be um, would be the solution here. Okay, so let's, let's say maybe for a cinema texture. Um, Blade response, that's probably like Blade Runner. Okay, what else? Something with the pulse. Nope, airy shimmer. That's very um, string, string like, so I mean, it's pretty like a source from a string. Let's go down here and see what else they have. It's like an expansion pack, Neo. That's cool. Okay. Oh, how does this sound? The low end. Whoa. Whew. That was interesting. This is kind of cool too. I, I wonder if I should just replace that part with what I have already. Um, let's go ahead and disable. Okay, all right, hide disabled. Okay, no, but um, I could complement that with something down here. Let's just play around with that for a sec. Or should I do like a pedal tone? Let's go even lower. Something like that. Um, if I did a pedal tone, but not, um, huh, yeah, not sure how to articulate what I'm looking for, but let's just play around again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I like that idea, Jill. Okay, yeah. Let's try that. Okay, so let's do this. Let's bring this over to bar um bar 3. Oops, wrong instrument. I don't know why this is so quiet all of a sudden. Let's see. Oh, okay. Because I, I actually 
um, mess with the CC7 on that. Sorry, let's make sure that this one, okay, let's try that again. Oh, good old MIDI. Let's try that. So, now, and it, what was this called again? This was called gl Glissantrophic. Whoa, okay. It is a darker sound, but um, this might tie into what uh, Lazy, Lazy Pixel may do in his part. I don't know. Just an idea. This is a, a signal of the gloom that may happen down the road. Um, okay, so there's that, and then I think... Volume wise, yeah, it's it pretty good. Maybe I can do another pass on the CC7 stuff, but I, I want to keep moving just to get an idea of what's going to happen next. Um, um, Jill was mentioning I should re record this. Uh, let, let's see if I can. Looks like I had, um, I see, okay, so if I delete this guy, bring this guy over, let's kind of copy that and for the sake of time here, whoop, let's hear how that sounds. It's a little bit front, um, right, uh, like a little bit ahead. I, I mean, without the metronome, it, it's fine because you'll you'll feel um, a more natural sense of it, a little breathing. My, I'm actually I just got this keyboard by the way um, it's a key station by M audio so I'm not used to how sensitive well not sensitive but um, how hard you have to play to really get some of the notes out as opposed to my other synth uh, mini controller so as I mean I'm used to synth action actually so this is more like a hammer uh, feel, which is good. I mean, I, I like that for piano. It's just, I'm not, I, I have to get used to that a little bit. So I think I need to just bring the velocity up. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay. So what to do on this next part? Yep, yep, yep. I wonder if I should do something like a staccato. Yeah, 
just mess around with this. get away from the piano but I think this at least for this in uh, composition the piano is um, pretty prevalent um, just thinking if I should uh, do away with piano completely on this next session or not but um, I think it'd be good to keep it in that case let's do some baseline stuff um, with the strings I wonder if I should change the feel and then go into Let's go. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's duplicate this track, and then let's go ahead with. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what do I need to do here? Let's go longs on all of these. So I actually have key switches. So if I go here, I can do long, but then on this other track, I'm going to do shorts starting here, spiccato, and let's hear how this goes. so we can hear this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, on something like this, I do prefer quantizing, so let's go here. And then I, I realize uh, with Jaeger, there's a delay, so it's like I have to bring it back like negative 100. should I do that so if this is holding I don't want to like do two different articulations at the same time
Maybe a little too loud. Um, I wonder how this would sound like that. Oops. Around there. Was that? Let's see the the timing. One, two, bam. It's a little late. Negative forty. Okay. All right. I kind of like this chord progression of doing like G, B major. Um, so that, that's going to be the next section. Before I forget though, let's do this. I'm going to add my chords in here. And um, just quickly write these in. So the first one is um, meet the chord track. Okay. If you guys um, have watched other stuff I've done, um, I actually like to... Uh, do chords and it's like a lead sheet for me so first one it starts with G this one uh, this is going to be B minor and then this is uh, C and then copy that over Some timing issues I'm hearing, but that's okay. We'll, we'll come back to that. Okay, and then here we have E minor. D. be interesting to see what happens here let's go back to piano so it goes okay so
Okay. Right there. So I'll open this up. Let's do a quick sketch and see how it sounds. Too fast. go um I figure mm, like a uh, Philip glass <laughs> so Needs, it needs some context. So, I mean, yeah, it's good to have these chords and it sounds cool, but um, I think I just need to do some kind of melody on that. Um, I could uh, kind of disguise that B major, so two, three, four, one.
I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it. It's just uh, just getting it out and translating that. Almost, I feel like I need to write this down so I don't forget some of these uh, phrasings. I do like the way I played it a while ago, and I'm not sure if um, that part saved. That's the thing. That's okay. So, um, da 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 da. <laughs> One, two, three.
timing looks like the latency is kind of kicking in, so I have to factor that in. Okay, uh, I'd like to just do this in one pass. I, I just need to practice this more, um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Lazy. Uh, it is melancholic, isn't it? So. Uplifting, huh? Yeah. Is this uplifting? What do you guys think? I won't be offended. So, um, I think um, it'd be interesting to see, you know, like adding in all the other stuff, like even drums and things like that. How that would, how that would make the uh, feel change. But I, I kind of like this idea of making it big right here. Just uh, an idea. So, um, 
But yeah, how, how much uh, time is this? This is about a minute and 20 seconds. Okay, so I have to be careful. I don't want to take too much um, time because I, I do want the other half or, I mean, we, we don't have to do exactly half and half. We could um, maybe do something like this, Sebastian, where um, you add other components to it, but would it be easier if you just did the other half and I just did this half? Or um, would you, do you think it'd be more uh, beneficial if you did something where like you, you did other components of the piece and I just did the whole entire, I don't know. It's up to you. Um, I, I, I kind of, I was planning to just do like half of the piece. explore this idea real quick. Okay. Oops. B minor, not E minor. thing is I feel like I need to go faster on this so So now, did I record that? Um, I think I did. There's some bad notes here and there. Let's see if I can fix those. Let's expand on that idea uh, a little bit.
Yeah. Hmm. If if I were to reorchestrate what I just played on these strings, um, I wonder how that would sound. Rather than doing like a solo piano thing there. Um, or or keep the melody. How about this? Keep the melody of what my right hand's doing and change what's going on down here. So Let's change these out. Go like that. Yeah, so there is a little bit of rushing happening, isn't there? Um, yeah, this is interesting. I don't. I, I um, when I do like piano stuff, I, I generally like to practice it like a lot ahead of time when, before I start recording and stuff. But this, this is interesting process for me at least because I, I uh, feel like um, I hear things, I just need to get it to a more proficient level. So, yeah, and that, that's kind of a bummer for me at least. Uh, it makes me think, okay, I need to practice more piano. <laughs> that's what I need to do. Um, okay, so here. So now it's empty. Try this. One, two.
哒哒，哦，就哒哒哒哒哒哒哒哒。So I think what I need to do is I need to um, let's get rid of the piano or not get rid of it, just mute the piano for now. And then I'm gonna slow this down to whoo, let's say uh, 80. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's go two bars out. Two. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So one bar of that, okay. hear how that sounds. It, it's weird because uh, there's a little bit of this latency um, programmed in like negative 140 milliseconds so it it's a little weird when you're recording it um, and this is where like that MIDI if you actually program this in MIDI it, you wouldn't have a problem with that like uh, just doing it all like step by step but it's nice to get the velocities on this um, so that's that's my only thing here um, let's try that. It's not a full quantize, I think it's an iterative quantize, so.
Okay. All right, now let's unmute this and hear how that sounds. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the timing of piano is all off now just because of the um, how I played it in real time. So maybe I need to just re re record that. Let's see if I remember it. So, oh, I went too long. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, yeah. Okay. So, I may have messed this up on here. So, I need to. I mean, it's nice to be able to re. Um, entry, uh, restate this spot here. Maybe I can change the melody. I, I like how it was before. Okay, so. So I'll have to change that guy out. Get rid of all of this. Da -da -da. All right. Um, let's move this over. Oh yeah, so then I have to change that. Dun 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 Okay. Let before I um record piano, let's go back here and let's change this. Dun dun Okay, dun one, two, three, and oops. I hate when this happens. Um, go back here. Two, three, four, one, two. Let's do dun dun. Um, Let's see, portado, tremolo, <laughs> let's do staccato on that one, okay, so all of these are staccato notes. Let's do staccato on those. Okay, bring that over. Okay, good, good, good. And then I have to change this.
Okay, let's try it one more time. Should I go spiccato or staccato? Let's just hear how that sounds. I wonder if I can change the melody to different you know? Okay, I have an idea. So, um, lazy. What if I just muted that for now, and I'll go, and then you can add this next section right after that part. Dun, 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 what do you think? If you're still there, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let, let's let's uh, let's talk about that later too. Um, Woodwinds would be nice. Um, melody and brass. Uh, let's see. theme it is compressing okay Okay, yep, yep. That was throwing me off. This needs to change up until here. Um, dun, dun. Oh, not this one, sorry. This one. 
Okay, so let's figure out a melody. Should I write this? Man, it really helps me if I write this down. So let's do this. G. Uh, one and two. G. We're in the key of G. Okay. So, da da da, two, three, four, one, two, three. So the whole note tied over. One, two, three, four, one, two, uh, on beat two. Da, na, na, G, B, D. One, two, three, four, D sharp, half note. Two, three, four, one, two. No, whole note on D sharp, then a whole note on F sharp. Um, almost a whole note. So like this. Da -da -da. E F sharp, like that. One, two, three, so that's a G. F sharp dotted. Then we have E, D, E. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So two measures of E. All right. One, two, three. Okay. Two, three, four, one, two, three, da da. Da da da. One, two, three. One, two. And then Let's try it again. Four, one, two, three.
something like that at the end. Okay, I, I like that. Um, that was a good, good pass. I think I can do better though. Four, one, two. Really close. One. Oh yeah, I see what's, okay. Sorry, this is throwing me off. I like this idea of going right onto the D sharp, but um, Let's do that and try it again. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Let's try it Let's do that. <laughs> um, and hey, whatever you feel like, if you, if I need to change this note, uh, lazy, I can do that. Um, but yeah, let, let's kind of keep it at that. There's one bad note here, but I can fix that right here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. dun, uh. So let's just combine those two together. Um, same thing here. So what I'm doing is I am doubling woodwinds with like probably, I think violin one, it's a full string patch, but. Okay, and then let's fix that too. Da -na -na. doing there da, na, na. Maybe on beat one, two, three, four, one, two. Ba -na. Okay. Um, piano. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
which gives me some other, opens up some new options now. kind of fun. This really uh, opens it more whimsical now, huh? So how about that for melancholy or uplifting? Um, now it's whimsical. <laughs> I, uh, this is fun. I don't know half the time what my compositions will turn out. Um, other half the time, I, I have a really good sense. But for these type of moments, I'm just leaving it up to uh, chance to to the fate right just to see what is gonna happen this is fun I hope you guys are enjoying this so far I'm I'm so in my zone that I haven't even read too many uh, notes or anything so um, feel free by all means uh, leave some comments um, if you have any questions uh, I'm gonna go for 15 more minutes so uh, this will be a two-hour session and then uh, after that we'll go back and uh, I'll, I'll probably tweak some of these notes, but what I'd like to do is um, let's actually mess with the piano section here and then um, bring it all together and then I'll do some tweaking at the end. Okay, so... Um, I'm hearing... So, uh, oh yeah, and uh, by the way, I did upgrade a Cubase 11, so here's the cool thing about that. I can click on this, and it's going to give me chords, even though I didn't put the chord uh, progression on this particular spot. But um, um, it's really helpful when you are on the fly, or if you come back to a session after like a month, and then you can see exactly the chord progression, so that's really helpful. Um, I might as well just put these in now. So dun dun, uh, G, B minor. Okay, and then, okay. No worries, Lazy Pixel. Glad you're able to, to make it and watch out, uh, watch this uh, session here. So um, we have G, B minor, and then we have E minor. Then we have D. Uh, let me change this. C. And same thing, E minor. Let's actually copy that over here. It's a mess right now. Two, three, four, and then G. And that could be debatable what, what that chord will be at the end. Um, am I good to erase this? Um, let me just keep this copy and I'm going to duplicate the version. And now I'm going to go loop. Okay, my sustain pedal's on. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, then. Um. The C. All right, well, here's a first pass on that. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna brain fart here. Okay, sorry, and this is the wrong chord. This is actually B major. I just realized a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That was good. Um not 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 the perfect performance by any means but um what i need to do is i gotta get ready for this moment where it goes so i wonder if i have to go like that and go higher so like then So da -na 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 -na. Da -na. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, man, oh, man. Come on, Josh. Okay, 
So that was better. Let's listen to just the piano part real quick. Let's see. I feel like everything is just well. Every time I record something, everything just gets a bit, a tidbit um, early, just with how MIDI works. So uh, actually, I'll just use my keyboard. Bring this over a little bit. This just needs to be like a little stronger. Oops. So, ooh, um, let's see if I record that. So, da na na. Something like that. It's hard to punch in, but let's try that. Dun, dun. Oh, sorry. Roop. Okay, so we have wrong notes. It should be C. So, um, yeah, so it should be like dun 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 dun. Kind of like this one. Interesting. I, I, I can see this in like a uh, one of those movies, like a like a maybe historical drama or something. <laughs> um, yeah, 
that's kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, and I, I think just one other thing here. Right there, like, it, I feel like it can grow more, so I'll just bring that. Even this note. It's tricky. Um, the feel is suffering just a little bit here. Is it too ahead? Is it too behind? Let's try too behind. Okay. can go like that. Oops. Okay, all right. Okay, let's look at the beginning. Um, oops. And the strings. Sounds weird. Um, is it because it's clashing with something? Um, I also have this playing something. That's why. That's weird. I don't have any other note besides that. That's where I was hearing stuff. Okay. And then timing wise, it, uh, this was the wrong note. That's because I have bass going here. Yeah, so what can I do here that would make that bigger? Um, I can do this. I can duplicate this. Okay, so this would be like a uh, spiccato. Man, it's really long. I'll just say strings. Full uh, strings, um, high, spick. Let's see, let's try that. And then let's call this low spick. Okay. And then what I'll do here, let's find all the low notes, keep that. 
something like that, like that, like that. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I, I may have to change this part out or just. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah, I, ha I have to add something there because I think this is what the high strings are playing only. So this is all high string stuff. So I'm missing low end. And I think it would be good just to do it here in the strings like. Uh, yeah. Last note is debatable, but um, let's keep that for now. Okay, and for some reason, my C didn't go through. So should I, uh, man, let's do it again. Um, something, oh, there it is, okay. So <laughs> I just had a uh, crash, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So I think that's my sign that I need to uh, call it good for today. But uh, there is much more to do. So I think it would be fun to try and, uh, you know, uh, maybe spend a, another 30 minutes on this. Um, on another time but basically um, what you heard is good so um, uh, for the most part it's good there's like, like two tweaks I want to do two tweaks that um, it would be nice to do now I just don't know how long it takes so let me let me just play with one of those tweaks and then um, I could add the baseline and then we'll call it good. <laughs> Windows, PC, good old PC. Well, you know what? I, I work with Mac and PCs. Um, Macs aren't any better, honestly. They they both crash really often. And that could be Cubase. Maybe it's a Cubase thing. I don't know. I really like Cubase, but, you know, it's not perfect. Okay, so uh, what I was going to do is I'm going to add a baseline. Yeah, baseline, and then we'll call it good. So. kind of cool doing an F sharp and a D but let's just do the convention on okay all right and let's see what's going on oh interesting uh, so if I go a little whoa this sounds different now oh I see 
No, that's good. That's good. Um... track one last time come on come on So that, uh, it's clearly early, right? So. That's what I was hearing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, question is, should I speed this up and make it even that much more whimsical sounding? Let's do 108. And I think we're good. Let's go ahead and play it back from the top. So without further ado, um, I am clocking out after this. So here is a full rendition of this. Let me get this up so you can see the full thing. Whoop. All the notes that we did. Woo, look at that. Okay, and here we go. I'll press play. I'm gonna mute myself so you can hear the audio in full fidelity. All right, from the top. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Um, I will go ahead and uh, eventually pass this off and hand it over to Lazy Pixel. And uh, whenever um, he has the time to do that, uh, we will get go ahead and announce uh, when this track is finished. So it'll be a fun collaboration. If you guys are interested in collaborating in the future, hit me up. Um, love to, you know, chat, uh, see what ideas that you guys have. Um, if if anything. Uh, Try doing your own collaborations uh, just in general because I think you learn a lot by doing that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to call it good for today. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.